Hey, that's not a knife. This is a knife. <laughs> Look at that little guy. Today I'm showing you the newly released Urban Bowie designed by Dirk Pinkerton and built by Kaiser 154 cm on this little guy for 60 bucks and uh, no you're not getting a lot of knife for your money but you're getting a lot of quality for your money Dirk's designs are pretty amazing now this is very small knife it's a three finger knife okay you may or may not be comfortable with that I'm not a great um, user of small knives but look at this deep carry flathead screws um, recessed clip transferable and um, lanyard slot I mean it's got all the amenities including uh, Dirk's signature jimping here on both the frame and the edges of the spine of the blade and you got a reasonably high flat grind on this slicey little bowie with this rhinoceros horn <laughs> clip here pretty amazing now um, these come through with that the scales a little lighter this particular one is the only one out so far from White Mountain uh, it is going to be coming out in the black G10 might even be available elsewhere uh, but I darkened these down with a little oil. Yeah, you can use a little gun oil, knife oil, KPL, what have you. Speaking of that, and we're going to get into all the measurements soon, this has got a wicked precise, I'll call it, detent. I mean, it hangs on. So without taking it apart, I'm envisioning that you don't have much shoulders on the... Uh, on the pivot indent on the blade it's just such a precise fit that it actually will you will be able to thumb open it I can't thumb flick it just yet because I don't want to slice my finger on the blade um, but it holds on and breaks suddenly so it's a great middle finger flicker no problems with that and maybe many of you would be using it that way the preferred way of opening it just got to get your other fingers out of the way it is a little challenging to use and open because of the size but um, what is that size on this urban bowie well we got to capture the point first on the tape I'm getting five and three quarter inches overall pretty small I'm getting um, like 2.3 inches blade length that's crazy and in inches on the handle only 0.48 inches on the blade 0.11 and millimeters on the blade 2.8 that was quick huh well small knife we don't have to uh, struggle much to get the measurements Maybe that's it. Close it up for the weight. And we get a mere 2.59, call it 2.6 ounces. So um, that won't bust your pocket and it won't bust your bank. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Um, Dirk seems to like smaller knives. I mean, um, this is not going to be small for... Uh, comparison really um, here is the Arroyo this is a uh, artisan yeah. yeah it's an artisan design from a while back you can see that that is uh, a bigger knife by comparison and yet so it's a four finger knife just barely on the smaller side also a Bowie design that's the Arroyo um, here is another Pinkerton design. This is the full-size Main Street for comparison. And probably equally small, this is the Isonzo by MKM. 
in the Hawkbill design. Let's bring them all down. You can see the various gradations of size. That Isonzo MKM is just about the same size as the Urban Bowie. But uh, if you were considering this to be a small Ur knife, the Main Street, it is by no means small when you compare it to the Urban Bowie. I keep wanting to call it the Urban Skinner. I mean, there's all these names that have Urban in them, right? Now, the fact that this knife comes through in 154 cm at 60 bucks, I think, is pretty impressive in its own right. Although, you know, you're not um, <laughs> you're not dealing with a lot of materials here, so maybe that helps. Um, as I say, it has all the amenities. It's got some effective jimping, even though that jimping is not directly cut into the spine. It is. Uh, he has a name for this jimping, and uh, it's kind of uh, running these scallops along the edge. And Dirk responded back one day to one of my reviews uh, telling me what that was, but I'm sorry, I don't recall. Uh, this nice brown micarta comes through really well now that I put a little oil on it, but it will lighten up again and darken again over time with use. Um, and you've seen that, I'm sure, before on since this is becoming a very popular handle scale material. But how could you use this thing? Well, you know, unfortunately, with the point being so upturned, you'd have to go way up in the air here to use that point. Um, so, you know, it's definitely a big, a deep belly on a small knife. Um, you can hold it pretty well in... Um, point down you actually get a, a fourth finger on there as we see uh, many times when we hold a knife point down and so you know it's a jabby stabby little thing with some uh, outward slicing capability and it's a small package you could carry this easily in a shirt pocket I think it almost looked nice with a wire clip on it but um, wire clips sometimes tend to snag but we're just about even there with the uh, end of the handle so definitely a bona fide uh, deep carry knife and I hope that it loosens up a little bit I tried some heavy KPL which they recommend sometimes for um, pivot engagement or the I'm sorry uh, detent engagement but it's very kind of sounds like one of those clickers it's a very sharp uh, disengagement there so not going to open accidentally on you but then again if you want to thumb flick it you may be a bit challenged how does it stack up next to the griptilian <laughs> well the griptilian looks like a giant next to it look at that I mean the whole knife's almost uh, just barely longer than the handle of the griptilian and way out of its class size wise we have the rat one you can see same thing going on there so okay I think we've established the fact that it is a small knife for sure concealable yes absolutely um, easy to open you gotta work on it just a little bit but you know you dig your finger into that sizable hole there and you know it's really starting to break in I, this just came in the other day from white mountain and i thank justin for fast shipment but when you do open this make sure you get it right up at the end of that slot near the peak of the bowie uh, don't try doing it down here because you ain't going to get it open unless you've got very powerful fingers i've got to get a good grip on this with my fingers and push the thumb down in to get that clacker going so I'm confident it'll break in oil it up a little bit disassemble it maybe uh, if you want to get fancy you could get into the pivot hole and uh, with a, a diamond uh, tool and uh, maybe give it a little bit of a countersink but you got to be careful because you could completely destroy your pivot if you don't know what you're doing 
anyway, that's the urban Bowie. You would think of that with that name, it would be a much larger knife. But once again, a great and innovative design by Dirk Pinkerton in uh, concert with Kaiser Knives. Hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to give it a like as well as subscribe. Click that symbol of mine in the lower right corner right now and it'll bring you to where you can subscribe. I'm right about at 4,000 subscribers and uh, considering a giveaway. So stay tuned. Be back at you soon.